Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. I'm Nick Bane. And I'm here because we have something to do in here real quick. Um, I already started doing this uh, off screen to make it easier so I'd only have to come in here and do this once. But we gotta talk to this guy. We are 550 rupees short of funding for the bridge repairs. We need that bridge for a steady flow of goods to Castletown. We must bring the cost of goods down in Castletown, brother. Could you please help support this worthy cause? Yes. What we need to do is give him the money because I didn't actually tell you this. I'm going to explain it in a second once we're done with this glorious day. We have collected enough funds to finance repairs to the bridge connecting West Castletown to Hyrule Field, brother. Huh? Those corrupt price gouging shops in Castletown are officially on notice. Soon they will rue. We hope you'll continue your financial support in the efforts to sell pr uh, products in the town at discounted prices, brother. Okay, so what it is is there's uh, shops in Castletown that are for rich people only, very expensive. You even have to get your boot shined before you're allowed to go in there. And everything is more than you could ever carry for rupees. You cannot afford anything in there. However, there's a bridge leading into Castletown from West Hyrule Field that was broken. And we just gave them a thousand rupees so they could fix it. Now it's fixed. However, now they need to buy out that rich shop. We now have only 2,000 rupees left before we reach our goal for financing a store in Castletown, brother. Please help us bring relief to the people of Castletown who are suffering under the weight of an inflated cost of living, brother. I don't have enough rupees to do that right now, so... Yes, maybe in the future we will. There is something we can do to lower that price, and that is what I'm going to do next. Just so you know. And that involves going this way so let's go so how's everybody doing today today is Monday February 25th this episode's going to be going up a little bit late uh, compared to normal because I tried recording this earlier today and my recording screwed up so I had to try again obviously and that's what I'm doing now so yes uh, also, I did not go to work today because this morning as I was leaving um, for work, there was about a half inch of snowfall from the last time, from, you know, since the last time I shoveled. Uh, uh, my deck had about a half inch of snow on it. And as I was going down the steps, I, I uh, slipped and landed on my back on the steps. And so, uh, and I still was like, oh, okay, I can, I can go to work, no big deal. Um, went to go get in my truck, went to throw my bag into my truck, and uh, immediately my back seized up as I was trying to throw my bag in there. So I said, okay, screw that, I'm calling out today, I can't do this. So anyway, we're killing these guys. Why? Because I fucking feel like it. That's all the reason you need. So yes, we're, we're killing these guys now. Just four shits and giggles. Die, fucker. Alright, these guys can't really do much to us anymore, because they don't have the archer on the back. Um, <laughs> oh my god, did you see that? The, the boar just fell over it, and he just fell with it. Dude! No, get the guy! Get the, get the guy! Okay, fuck it, we don't need to worry about that guy right now. What we need to do is come over here! Hey, look at that! This is the bridge that was broken, and it's not broken anymore. So let's talk to this guy. So how did everybody like that last episode? Uh, I had the idea for a while when I knew I was going to be doing that, but, um... Ah! I do not feel like doing a thing. Now the bridge is fixed, but my body feels terrible. I just cannot go looking uh, look for stuff to sell. You know, all I really need to do is shower myself with some piping hot spring water to get back to feeling normal. Okay. Sounds good. So, yeah, as I was saying, I had the idea to do that for a while once I realized, oh, holy shit, there's gonna be a shit ton of pose that I can get all at once. Uh, once I complete, once I unlock being able to kill the pose. So I kind of need to get on that. Um, that... Uh, so I, I, yeah, I had the idea, I just, it took me a while to figure out what 
song uh, songs I was going to use for it, and then finally I just gave up looking for anything to use and went, alright, you know what, I'm just going to use the songs from the Zelda Symphony. I had, a, I had the CD um, that came with the Skyward Sword, and I had previously ripped it onto my computer, so I just used those, obviously. Um, I think it turned out pretty good. I, I actually had fun doing it. Uh, and it, 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 there's one thing. It's actually it was nice being able to play and record for you guys without having to be focusing on commentary at the same time. Um, not that I dislike doing this, because obviously if I did, I wouldn't actually be doing it. You are weird, sir. Eek! Eek! Long, long ago, I predicted that you would come, my brother. Tell me, my brother, do you not know of a young Goron in Castletown? I do, I saw him. He was tired out. I suspect he's currently hanging his head somewhere near the West Gate. Here's the plan, my brother. I will prepare some hot spring water, and you will douse that young one to revitalize him. What do you say? Will you do it? We are going to do this. Yes. Oh, I see. I am counting on you to make the run, my brother. Hot spring water cools as time passes, so if you do not hurry, you will end up with plain old cold water, my brother. Okay, my brother. This can be difficult. It can be. Not always. Doesn't have to be, but it can be. Uh, a good hint is to stick close to the cliff edge here on the southern side. Because there's levers in this field, and they pop up, and unless you kill them before they can hit you, they're going to hit you. There's no avoiding it. You're going to get hit by them. And if you get hit, you drop the barrel and have to restart. So, sticking to the south side of this field makes it so that they won't pop up. So, that makes life a little bit easier. So, if we can just avoid these guys with the arrows and hope that no birds come down and try and get us. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, thank you for missing. Thank you for missing, sir. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, I, I'm, I'm all bummed out because... When I recorded this episode previously, a bird got on my trail way, way back near the beginning of this whole part here, carrying the barrel, and it followed me all the way up to the bridge where it finally ran away, and I kept thinking it was going to kill me, and I was screaming, and it was actually pretty funny, and now I don't have that anymore, and I, I'm bummed about that, because it was awesome. Say, is that some Kakariko hot spring water you have there, brother? If you poured it on me, I'm sure it would restore my strength. Sure. Ha! Broke the barrel over his face. <laughs> I feel rejuvenated. That smell, that heat, it is spring water from back home. Well, I'm going to get back to work and open up the shop. Okay, you do that. You have fun with that, sir. Meanwhile, we'll just stand here and kind of wait to figure out, uh, okay, why, why are we still in a cutscene here? What, what are we doing? Where is... what? Oh, he's coming back! And he's carrying a barrel with the evil baby's face on it. Oh, and he dropped a heart piece. How exciting! I don't know if you guys realize this! Got a piece of heart! One more for another full heart container! That, we have one more piece of heart that we can get before we have to start continuing, or before we have, before we can start continuing on with the story. One more. We have no more pose that we can get before we can continue on with the story. And we have no more golden bugs that we can get before we continue on with the story. That means literally, it's going to be, get one more heart piece. Fucker. It'll be, get one more heart piece. Get one more, er, yeah, get one more heart piece. And go. And that's it. But first we're going to go in here. And we're going to go to Giovanni's house. Because if you remember. When the. Uh, whenever the first time was that we came to. Um, to see him and we killed that Poe. He asked us to kill 20. We've killed 29. So hopefully that means he'll be back to normal. And he'll give us something awesome for it. So yeah. His house is back there. Um. A little ways but we need to find somewhere to change into a wolf because we can't just walk into his house because the door is locked and he can't move so go down here transform into wolf all right now we got to go back and dig under the front thing 
Not only that, he doesn't know what we are as a human. All he knows this is is doggy. Scaring all the people! Terrifying kids! Yeah! Oh, you're terrified! Ooh, kitties! Fuck you, kitties! Oh, there's a ball! <laughs> there's a ball there! Awesome! Giovanni's house. Yep, this looks like the same place. Except this time we crawled in from there instead of falling from the ceiling. Which was... There! Right there, that vent right there. Jeez, a lot of spiderwebs in here. Dude, don't you ever fucking clean up. Oh, look at that! He can move again! He's still all golden, but he can move! You did it! I can move again! This is all thanks to you, right? Oh, I have to thank you! Will this do? Oh, awesome! We got Great Fairy's Tear! Sacred Water contains the Great Fairy's Prayers. Set it to be on the minus screen during it would be to replenish all hearts. Briefly boost attack strength. By briefly boost attack strength, they mean until you get hit. So if you can avoid getting hit, you do double damage after drinking this. So it's it's just like the um, uh, Grandma's Soup from Wind Waker. And also, we got a fourth bottle, so yay. Ah, ha, ha, I can uh, hear you can get this stuff in the cave on the eastern edge of the Gerudo Desert, too. Yes, you can. I, Gerudo, Gerudo. I always pronounce it Gerudo, so that's how I'm, that's how I'm going to say it. If that annoys you, get fucked. But my body is still golden. Does this mean my soul is still not whole? That's strange. Maybe we need the souls of 60 ghosts. I told you! I told you there was more of them. Can I ask another favor of you, doggy? Can you defeat more ghosts? Just 31 ghosts more? You, sir, are an asshole. Alright. So we're going to need to find 31 more ghosts. And kill them. And steal their souls. Souls? Souls? Yes, steal the posos! Poso! Poso! Fucking cats. Oh yes, be scared! Be terrified! Fear the almighty beast! And go down here. And transform to human. No, stop if you change now. Cause an uproar. Oh, yeah, that's right. You have to be up against here so they can't see you. What? 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 Nobody can see me! Oh, my God. You just let me change in there a minute ago. Fucking A. Fuck you. I wanted to change there. Okay, transform to human. Alright, do we have an empty bottle? Yes, we do. Alright, we need an empty bottle, so that works. Do, 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 do. Let's talk to the Goron. Oh, I remember you, brother. Thanks to you, we're now able to open up the shop again. I will give you a special price on hot spring water. How's 20 rupees? Well, sounds good. We got 52. Got it, brother. I'll provide you with some steaming hot water. We got hot spring water full of nutrients, but drink it while it's hot. Set it and use it to replenish all your hearts. If it gets cold, it'll be ordinary water. Okay, what we need to do is go this way. I didn't uh, tell you this before. I didn't show it to you, anyway. Um, out here, in the southern little area here of Hyrule Field, there's a pathway that actually goes down into that bigger field section down there. But it's blocked by rocks. Some kind of landslide or something. There's a Goron standing right in front of the rocks, and he reckons that if he had a little more strength, he could get through there. And the only way for him to get a little more strength is to drink some hot spring water, so we're bringing the hot spring water to him. Hey, you're that human, yes? The other Gorons told me about you, brother. Just take a look at these rocks. Amazing, was there a landslide or something? What are you doing here anyway, brother? Are you trying to pass through here? Sniff, 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 sniff. Hey, brother, you smell like you have some hot spring water there. If I took a drink of that, I would feel so strong, I could probably get rid of these rocks. Well, if you want to get through here, could you give me that hot spring water you have there? Sure. Give him the water. Yeah. Roar! Yes! Goron power, go! Mighty Morphin Goron. Well, I'm going to get working on this, so you should come back in a little while. Okay, when he says that, he does not mean in a little while. He means go around to the other side and try again. Actually, that, that's what he means by that. If you, it doesn't matter how long you wait. If you come back out this way, he's still going to be doing that. However, if you go all the way around to that southern field section and then come back up through there, it'll be open. I'll do that later. 
Um, in fact, I'll do everything later. I'm gonna end the episode there, everybody. Um, okay, stop saying um. Yeah, I'm ending it there. I uh, will see you in the next one, where we are going to get the last heart piece that we need uh, before the temple. And continue on with some story stuff. So, thank you very much for watching, everybody. I've been Enigbane. I'll see you next time. Bye.